Welcome back to Malmo. Today we will be going through some of the items that we bought while we were here in Sweden. Hello! Yes, hello! I'm afraid Paul and Marcus can't be here today, so you're left with us. It's Bunny and Bunny, so let's start the show! <laughs> No, we are here. <laughs> Look, but we do have bunnies as well, all the way from Sweden. Now, today we are going through some of the items that we bought while we were there. Look, you may have noticed that we've got two flags. This is the Swedish flag, but what is this one, Paul? This one? Oh, we've lost a bunny already. What's that one? This one is for the region of Skane. Ah, S right. S-K- uh... O-N-E. A and E with, with 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 uh, the with the accent. Yeah, with the accent on the A. Are you sure it's not scone? Scone. <laughs> well, we know it's scone because this guy just stopped to talk to us and he gave us the entire history. He of says, "Oh, Sweden and the scone are you area. English or something." <laughs> yes, but we're not, of course. Anyway, um, this is the scone flag, and we wouldn't have bought it if it hadn't been for him because we so didn't we even thank know what it you was. Yes, for indeed. introducing us to this flag, so I had to have it. Yes, you certainly did. Now, you've already seen the bunnies, but we'll come back to them later, oh, because one of them I, has a trick. I also have that um, that patch that I normally get, but I can't find. Oh, you, well, the, yes, you've got a patch version of the scunny flag. Yeah. yeah. But you've lost it already. No, I don't know where it is. <laughs> now, let's start with something that uh, we're not doing it today. You may have seen on our Eurovision special from Malmo earlier this year. No, you're not doing it. This is a hairspray that you got. Now tell it's us about silver. that. So I think we went. Oh, it, it begins with the B. The oh yes, it was butter butterwink or something. A butterick. Butterick. Yeah. So that was the name of the shop. So I wasn't sure which one I wanted. Um, so you got the silver one. So then I'm going to look old. <laughs> well, what I thought was, because you can see all the different colours and things there, I was so silly that I thought that it actually sprayed hair on because I was excited. <laughs> <laughs> Not that funny, Paul. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, anyway, it might be interesting to see what would happen if I did spray this onto my head. <laughs> Now, do you know that you're actually hidden behind the scone flag, my dear? Maybe you should move in a bit. What do you think? Right, okay. What is next out of our haul? Well, we did show the bunnies. Uh, yes, but more on them at the end of the show. They have to wait their turn, my dear. I think you ought to show this. This came from... Class Olsen. Class Olsen, yes. And what is Class Olsen? It's sort of like a... Like a home department. A, like a home So sort of they sew things like glasses, they sew mugs, they had like spoons, forks. Electrical and, stuff as well, like small electrical and items. And then they had like batteries and they also had like um, headphones and things like that. And like yeah. drilling tools. It was a real like DIY stuff, a real mix of things. But you discovered these. No, the reason I wanted these is because when you have drinks, right, you don't really want that much ice. So all you want is like one of these to go yeah. into your glass. It's a large ice cube tray and it does actually give the first version of the description in English. It says an ice cube mold made of silicon, which makes six large ice cubes size approximately five by five centimeters that's a giant ice cube, because this would fit perfectly in my whiskey glass now where was it that we saw giant ice cubes quite recently was it susan kalman had no we saw them in um we saw them at the debret in um auckland uh, yes I? but we saw them on tv well i don't remember oh i know I what it was it. it was michael portello was somewhere and he said that was a giant ice cube. No, so I think the giant ones are better because of the large surface area. So, so like a couple of those is like 
better than oodles of other ice because then all mm, of them kind of melt simultaneously. Yeah. Now you might actually sense. have already seen some of the ice cubes. I don't know because um, we do drink specials throughout the year and mm. one of those might have gone out before this episode. <gasps> so there you go. Right, what is next, Paul, on your list? Hand cream, hand and nail cream. You're always getting creams. Don't we have enough creams? My skin is so dry. Well, my skin gets dry too, but I'm not lathered in cream all the time. I don't want to have like snake skin, okay? Oh, right. You, uh, you're going to have camel skin. my knuckles. You're going to have camel skin because this is <laughs> it's called camel. And it's hand and nail cream with organic chamomile. Vegan friendly, soothing care and protection for normal skin, microplastic free formula. So it's a soothing care protection, regeneration and moisture for normal skin. I think we got that when we went to the mall. Oh, which mall was that? The one in Triangle, I guess. Ah, oh, right. Oh, it's got quite a nice smell to it. Have you used any of this yet? No. And you don't want to really have any out. Well, I mean, it's just going to pop out anyway, because why don't you try a bit? I have stuff. Because the thing is, people probably open these in the shop anyway. So there's a nice smell to it. Just a little tip and trick. It's not a tip and tricks episode, but if you see <laughs> that little symbol there is with it the little um, tub with the lid on it and it says 12 what does that or mean? 12M, it means that it's good for 12 months once, once you open it. Yeah. Some of them say six, so they might be 18 or 24, I suppose. Mm, it's quite nice, it's quite a subtle smell. I like it. Of what's in it? Oh. In a chamomile. Oh. Yeah. Helps put you to sleep then. Is that, what does it say that? No, but um. But oh I'm... God, I think you're right. Oh, chamomile right. does put you to sleep mm. then. Moving on. Well, if you are going to sleep, make sure that you blow out all your candles first. Now these came from Ikea, didn't they? And when we go away, we do tend to buy candles. I don't know why. I never buy candles at um, home in the UK. So it's only when we go away. But I like these because they're little pink tea light candles and they might even give off a sort of a rose scent. I don't know. Oh. Oh, I thought you were gonna say something. I spotted something over there. Oh, right. Well, while you are going to find that, oh dear, why don't, Oops, sorry. Yeah, why don't we <laughs> go on to the next item, which is a jar and bottle opener. Now, this is interesting. It looks, like, it looks like a giant nut cracker. No, the reason why I wanted it is because I had this, this jar of kimchi that I wanted to open that I had to throw out because I didn't know how to open it. Oh, right. So do you think we should actually demonstrate this? Because um, do we have jars? it's all very well showing it. I actually have a new jam jar that we could open. So why don't you watch this and then we will open it just after this. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel today. I hope that you have been inspired to visit Malmo and to buy some of these items that we have featured on today's program. For those of you that have liked it, please give us a thumbs up. For those of you that haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button because it will help us on our journey to reaching a thousand or more subscribers. And for those of you that want to leave a comment, you could do so as well. And Marcus and I would especially appreciate maybe if you would like to purchase us a cup of coffee because that also would help us go a long way on our YouTube journey. And the link is in the description below for buying the coffee. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to snip this open. <laughs> yeah. Should we keep the packaging? The yeah, instructions if you like. Okay. Well, inches. I don't think there's much instruction to it. It just goes like that. So how would this work? Well, it's, it fits round whatever size your jar is. So I've got a, a nice jar of strawberry jam from Waitrose here. Should I film you? On yeah, this side? yeah, okay. So I guess wait, you can wait, like wait. choose whichever one is the most appropriate one 
to, to open it with. And it looks as though it's going to be the biggest one here. So it just hold it. It has a bit of a grip to it. I don't know. Do I need it... to hold? Oh! Well, look at that. It just came right off. Or was it easy? Wow, look at that. You see that? Oh, because... It's so even got a, a little face on it. Because look. I kind of feel like you didn't really do anything. I didn't do anything. That's amazing. Okay. Yeah. Are you happy with the purchase? <laughs> yes, yes, I'm happy with the purchase. Thank you very much. Mm. So it just showed you that this jam and bottle opener really does work. I was kind of skeptical <laughs> because I was like, is it really going to work? Well, it says in the back that it is a helpful aid in making opening jars and bottle tops easier. Tight fitting rubber gripping jaws, giving you superior. Jaws? Yeah, jaws. Giving you superior oh. leverage for opening jar and bottle tops. For opening screw packages with lids up to eight centimeters in diameter, and it includes a handy ring pull hook. So oh, we. What, what is it? What's this? Is it this thing? Yeah, I guess. Ring pull hook. What's that then? Is I don't it? Know. I don't know. So this is what the packaging looks like. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Right, you went to find something. What is it? I got this brush from IKEA. <laughs> And it wasn't the first one that you picked up no, because you there were... was one that like you could like stick onto the counter. Oh really? No, I didn't really like that. It's but just for I... doing the dishes, right? But I think I did like this one because of the color. It's a nice green color. Yes, we're going green in the kitchen. Yes, indeed. So that is um, IKEA of Sweden. Imported. This was really interesting. Is it from here? Everything. <laughs> well, no. Everything in IKEA in Sweden. China. Uh, well, it does say it's made in China, but all the labels said imported to the G to GB by IKEA Limited, 100 Avery Boulevard, Milton Keynes. No, wait. So it came from Milton Keynes then? No, it didn't. It says imported to GB. So that means that they are using labels across all their stores no matter where they are manufactured in most at Kings. least no it's not manufactured there no no No, like they produce the labels there no 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 what they're saying is is that these these items all these items are imported to gb at that address but they're using those labels for all the stuff that is on sale in their stores probably across europe as well i wouldn't say the us the us is probably completely different who knows? Maybe someone from the US could let us know in the comments. Go along to IKEA and see if it has a sticker about being imported to GB. That's Great Britain, if you didn't know. <laughs> right, okay. Well, I think it's our final couple of items now. Hey, we're not items. Oh, sorry. This one. The little bunny rabbits. Was on sale. Now, this one does a little trick with the, with the tail. Look at that. Marcus has been playing with this one for ages. Yeah. And this one came from... Um, Tiger. Oh, yes, that's right. Tiger. Tiger Copenhagen. Tiger Copenhagen. And I think she was... She? I think she Easter. was... Easter. Left over from Easter, yeah, because we went quite a long time after Easter. And, uh, yeah, she was there. We didn't actually realise what she was doing, first of all. I just thought, oh, she's shaking the poor bunny. We have to buy her. And she's got Wasn't a she lovely, last one? yeah, lovely face and lovely feet on the bottom. And lovely and ears. Lovely ears. And she's got her little hands there. And she was feeling lonely. And then we went to Helsingborg towards the end of our trip. We find this lovely little bunny rabbit Did you here. you buy it like at the bookstore? At the bookstore. And look, this one has got a little, a, I don't know what you, is it like a lead or a chain sort of thing? Shall we um, take it apart? R hey, what? with the Swedish flag, if you notice the same colours. Look, look at that. Yeah, let's open it up. I've got the scissors here. Uh, actually, I probably don't even need them. It's just got a, a bit of sellotape that's round it. So it just twirls out like this. I don't really know what the purpose of it is for. Do you know, Bunny? No. To wear it around in your neck, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> is that? Yeah, probably. Do you think maybe it was like a a graduation gift because they did a lot of that stuff? Out oh, that's probably what it because was. That's why you it was a had it because you went to that store, Athens. So wait, 
What does gratis? I thought gratis meant free. No, no. Congratulations. Can you look at what up, what gratis in Swedish is? Because that might be a clue. Because maybe it is. If it's congratulations, then you're right. Because I remember seeing. Um, the bunny near the graduation site. Oh, right. Do you not remember that? No, I didn't clock that at all. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so, yeah. One second. And two T's. G-R-A-T-T-I-S. And now we're going to find out if it does indeed say congratulations. Spell it again. G-R-A-T-T-I-S. Because I thought it meant... Yeah. Oh, look at that. Shall Congratulations! We, shall we have Google thingy play, like say what it sounds like? Yeah. Let's open that up. Oh, louder than that. And then put it right up Gratis. to the camera. Gratis. Gratis. Hey, Gratis. that's my name. Gratis. So, so your name is going to be Gratis, my dear. Mm. So there we are, Boutique Bunny. <laughs> uh, and it has a Swedish address. I'm not sure if you were actually made in Sweden. It's just managed to get a dirty nose. Do you think that the bookstore lady was like wondering why you were buying a congratulations bunny? <laughs> probably. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, okay. She probably, weird. <laughs> probably thought there's some English speaking. <clears throat> yes, come on. <laughs> Doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching this lovely episode today. For those of you that have liked it, give us a thumbs up. Or even wag a tail. For those of you that want to leave a comment, you could do that. If you haven't subscribed already, which I'm not sure why you haven't, because this show is fabulous. Hit the subscribe button. We're wanting to get to a thousand subscribers by the or end more. of this year. Yes, or more, of course. Not going to stop there. And if you're feeling extra generous, then you might like to buy us a coffee. There is a link in the description. Well, from our Swedish special, yes, let's fly the flags and waggle your tails. And we'll see you next time. See you Congratulations. There. Bye. <laughs> you didn't know that, did you? I don't.